planning ahead for your pets for if you pass away. Estate planning is something all pet owners need to think about. So Steve Schweitzer, brought to you by Pet Pals TV, spoke with an expert about this important legal challenge. You may remember Leona Helmsley. She's that real estate tycoon who died and left $12 million to her dog. Yes, to her pet dog named Trouble of all things. That's Karen Kepler. She's an attorney and an expert on estate planning. She says even if you aren't a millionaire, you might want to consider adding your pet to your will. First of all, Steve, it's because of the pandemic, not only have people rethought doing wills and taking care of their estates, but they've also adopted a lot of pets. If you haven't properly planned for your pets, then the only thing, you know, unless there's a family member or a friend who's willing to take them voluntarily, that pet is going to be brought to a rescue organization or to a pound and hopefully adopt it. We can use our wills or our revocable trust, however you decide to uh, put your estate plan in order, to create what is known as a pet trust. It's a special kind of trust and because it is for an animal, it's regulated by statute. What are the top three things that I ought to consider uh, when including a pet in my will? The first thing you should, you, can, you should consider is who you want to raise the pet. Then you need to think about who you want to be handling the money for the care of that pet. And the third thing you need to think about is how much money should be set aside. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at uh, pierrolaw.com. That's P-I-E-R-R-O-L-A-W.com. We updated our will recently, and Ghost is part of our plan. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer. All right, and you can see Steve's full report at 1030 right here on Wish TV and, of course, Pet Pals TV, and that comes after Great Day, Great Day TV at 10 o'clock.